Today's first witness was Sean Duncan, a businessman and director of Nine Enterprises, a business led by attorney David Morales. We provide um, technical services, technical, um, technology services. That's pretty much the main purpose of the company. But Duncan was summoned not for the technology services his company provides, but because of the sweet real estate deal it landed. Two 50-acre plots of land for just over $5,000 each, listed among these seven portico parcels, including one for the attorney he appeared with today, Andrew Bennett. There were 17 parcels of land that were granted, um, that, that were sold by the Ministry of Lands on the same day. And so we're trying to get a better understanding of what was taking place that day. So how did Nine get so lucky? You acquired those properties from the government of Belize? Mm -hmm. Yes. Through leases initially? Um, we, we applied, yes. You had moved from answer, lease answer. to title in 2020. Um, my we would respectfully raise that the acquisition of property, unless it touches and concerns and forms a part of the definitive agreement, and whether any negotiations were contingent on the acquisition of any private, any property by a private individual, unless it is relevant to that, then my client would decline to answer. Our records are showing that, that there are two properties of 50, around 50 acres each. I think one is for 50, let me see. 50.1, and the other is around the same size. There are two properties. Can you confirm? That's correct. And you paid $5,300 each for those properties, our records are showing. Yes. I really can't remember those figures or anything like that. The valuation for that type of land is between $200 and $700 per acre, which would bring the price of those properties between ten and $35,000. Um, for the 50 acres, which would then amount to a forty-six to eighty-five percent discount on the purchase of those properties. Most people struggle to get a lot. Your company got two 50-acre parcels. Were you surprised at that? In in a number of days, um, I was excited. Would you have any relationship with the then uh, Commissioner of Lands or the uh, Minister of Lands? No. You said you had no relationship with the Minister or the Commissioner of Lands at the time. That's so correct. So you just walked in and put an application for 250 acre parcels and everything was signed and maybe it was as easy as that? I have stated repeatedly over and over that I did not participate in that aspect of the transaction. Were you surprised at the timeline of how things progress in terms of your application to then the approval of the request and then ultimately when you got the, the title? Honestly, when it comes to those type of transactions, I, I leave it to my business partners, so timeline and so forth. I did, not, I did not even look at that part. So We have documentation here that says that you apply the 7th of October, it was received the 13th of October, and then you get approval the 20th of October, all within less than a month. Where you? Some, some things work faster than others, I, I guess. Things work faster, especially when it's close to an election. But you remember anything else that was happening around October and November 2020? No. Any other? I can't remember what happened event? last week. I can't remember what happened October 2020. Oh. I know they had COVID, something. <laughs> no, well, you don't remember that that was coming on to elections? Huh? 
Duncan also did not know details of the land application. When you purchase those properties, um, my, um, oh. there's, a, I, I, there's a policy uh, by land department that it has to be accompanied by a development plan. In your case, I, I would imagine it's an investment plan. Was, one, sir, was that plan submitted at the time you requested the purchase? I have no idea. My only involvement in that, the aspect of the transfer was to sign over because I'm a director of Nine Enterprises Limited. Right? That other, the aspect of dealing with the actual tra the transaction and all of the paperwork was done by the managing director, Mr. David Morales.